very good evening and a warm welcome to State of Business on Art Television. I'm here Shine Ali and let's have a look at the headlines first. Quarantine curfew imposed in five more police divisions. Unemployment rate in second quarter of 2020 dropped to 5.4% from that of first quarter. News in detail. The total number of cases detected from the Minuanguda COVID-19 cluster has surpassed 2,220. Accordingly, the quarantine curfew has been imposed in Kuliapitiya, Pandala, Giriulla, Narammala and Dumalasuria police areas until further notice. 60 more positive cases were reported from the Minuanguda coronavirus cluster early today evening. According to the Army Commander, Lt. Gen. Shavendra Silva, 35 among them are employees of factories situated in Katunaika. Thereby, this brings the total number of cases in the Minuanguda COVID-19 cluster to 2,222 as of 3 p.m. today. Considering the situation, the National Operations Centre for Prevention of COVID-19 outbreaks said that the quarantine curfew will be in effect in Kuliapitiya, Pannala, Kiriulla, Narmala and Dumalasuria police areas with immediate effect until further notice. Moreover, 17 more patients who contracted the COVID-19 were discharged today as they have made complete recoveries. The new development brought the total number of COVID-19 recoveries in Sri Lanka to 3,457. Opposition leader Sajid Premadasa questions why the authorities are still silent on the eruption of the COVID-19 virus cluster in the Minuanguda textile company. He also questioned about the spreading of information about a group of Indian nationals who have rumoured to visit the Brandix company at Minuanguda and Health Minister Pavitra Vanyarachi replied to the oral questions. Deshiya Kharmantyak Menma Videsha Vinime Genemin Rate Artikata Devanta Shaktiakwana Mema Ayatane Mata Varada Patava Nishabda City Mata Rajeta Kisin Hekiavak Numet Paudgalika Ayataniakwana Brandix Ayataneta Rate Podunitya Ulangane Kota Mirata Yam Pirisa Genimata Ida Prastavak Numetiata Yam Hekin India Vesita Brandix Ayatane with a Yam Pirisa Genuye Nam Haima Pirisa Niroda in a Kriavalian Baharava Kati to Kale Nam Ehi Vagakima Emma Ayatane Pamanak Nova Raja Visinda Baragata Yutu Emnisa Mema Sidia Piliman the Satya Karnu Bahama Janata out of Helical Yutu Lanka we Guanto to Balatana Sam can I give a PCR parishion at a Pilakan. A parish and a valley up at a rogue in with your own Hamuino. Enisa, I and Iran Terrain, a pair of Halvela, Patikara Gatta, Pasuke, Masa Ganana, Pitra Ten Sitana, a payment, Sri Lanka, but a Videsh, Vinime again, Ayasa, Ituaya, Lanka, but again, Medi Rogue in with the Tapita Hamuich. Eva Game, Botuma, Guanyane, Torotura Hala Tibuna, E Guanyana, Genem, Sandaha, Vasher Labadune, Lekam Videsha Katu Amatianshi. Emma Guanyane, Pemini Magin, Sankava, Hatalis Attack. Emma Guanyane, India Jatikin, Meretra Pemini, the net. Eva Gamer, Emma Guanyane, Pemini, Niroda, and Evicha Kalasima, September, Visi Deke Sita, October, Visadakwa. Emma Guanyane, Pemini Sieludenama, Ayatinika Niroda, and Ekata Lakuna, Cosco, Pradesh, and Sheraton Hotel. Egola Davas Dahatarake, Sheraton Hotel, Niroda, and Unava Gamer, Swan Niroda, and Tavat Davas Dahatarak, Onge, Nivasola Sidukala. Announcing the Supreme Court's determination on the proposed 20th Amendment to the Constitution in the House today, Sweepka Mahindayapa Abewardana added that the Supreme Court has determined that some clauses such as 3, 5, 14 and 22 of the 20th Amendment to the Constitution are inconsistent with the Constitution. In the meantime, the Cabinet of Ministers has granted its approval for some changes to be made to the 20th Amendment to the Constitution that are to be tabled in the committee stage in the Parliament. The Cabinet of Ministers has granted its approval for the changes to be made to the 20th Amendment to the Constitution that are to be tabled in the committee stage in the Parliament. Further, it was decided that the provisions relating to the following matters should also be included in the committee stage of Parliament on the 20th Amendment to the Constitution. Thereby, Cabinet approval was given for the provisions to increase the number of judges in the Supreme Court and the Courts of Appeal to submit to Parliament only the acts relevant to the matters that emerge 
out of the national security and disasters considering as the urgent acts to allow the Auditor General to delegate the authority to audit a public corporation or the companies which hold 50% of more of the shares by the government or a public corporation and to include the same provisions of the 19th Amendment into the 20th Amendment regarding the determination of the number of cabinet ministers, the number of non-cabinet ministers and the number of deputy ministers. Moving on to more cabinet decisions, the cabinet of ministers has approved to ban key products from 1st January 2021 and to introduce alternatives with a view of reducing the single-use plastic and polythene waste in line with the discussions held with the stakeholders in managing polythene and plastic waste. Thereby, it was decided to prohibit packaging of chemicals or pesticides in polyethylene, terephthalate and vinyl chloride containers and to use packaging made of glass or other raw materials as an alternative. Furthermore, it was decided to ban sachets made of polythene and plastic less than 20 mm or 20 grams and to use packages of 100 mm or 100 grams or more as an alternative excluding to food and medicine sectors. Prohibition of various inflatable toys made of plastic excluding balloons, balls and floating toys and plastic cotton buds excluding hygiene products will come into effect from next year. Stay tuned for more news right after this commercial break. Welcome back after the break. Handing over the appointment letters to the trainees selected from families of the lowest income category in the society under the program to recruit 100,000 individuals for employment commenced yesterday and 34,818 have been selected under the first phase. Accordingly, appointees will receive a six-month formal training in 25 identified areas according to their skills and references. During the training period, trainee will receive a monthly allowance of 22,500 rupees. The 100,000 jobs program has been formulated in line with concept of creating a poverty-free Sri Lanka enshrined in the Saubhagya Dakma policy statement of President Gotabe Rajpaksha. Increasing the income of low-income earners, alleviating poverty by ensuring social security and building a people-centric economy by reducing inequality in income distribution as much as possible are some of the objectives of the program. Once their six-month training period is completed, they will be given permanent appointments and will be directed to ministries, departments, corporations and institutions affiliated to the government to fill existing vacancies. The individuals to be recruited will be deployed in vegetables and fruits production activities on government's farms and abundant agricultural lands that have the potential for successful recultivation utilizing modern agri-technology. They will also be provided with employment in sectors such as wildlife and forest conservation, irrigation and agrarian services, agriculture service centers, rural hospitals and activities related to the schools. Internal Trade Minister Dr. Bandula Gunavardana suggests that the government must consider to provide more financial assistance to the local institutes such as Slintec to conduct researches on how to expand our export market. In response, the opposition MP Dr. Harshad Silva said the opposition will be assisting the government's efforts but the present economic problem should not be taken so light. Mang ilah setin ni, mehati desi apa naya nak karu angge, me apa naya nak pravardhan ni ata karu sabapat tu mani, pradana kriya marga tu nai karan tu tiel. Eka bahand vivida angge karan ni ak karan tu ni me bahand malan etam bahand pesa, vivida vivida apa naya nak drawi olta ati karan tu ni bahand vivida angge karan ni ak karan tu. Deka velanda polo vivida angge karan ni ak karan tu ni, api sampradai ke batik ra velanda polo al kipe kete an netu, vivida alut velanda polo al soya gini an tu. Tu na. मैं वेलेंटाइन पॉला बांडा मैं नवीकरण या करंट टोन 
අපි දන්නවා අයිටි තමයි මේ දවස්වල සි ග්‍රේඩ්ම මේ දිනුණු වෙන කර්මාන්තය. ඒක තවදුරටත් දිනුණු කරන්න ස්ලින්ටෙක් වැනි ආයතන වලට අපි තවදුරටත් සහයෝගය ලබා දෙන්න ඕනේ. ඒ නිසා ඔබ කියන දේ සමග එකඟ වෙමින් අපි ඔබ ගෙනාපු යෝජනාවට සහයෝගය දක්වන්න සූදානමින් ඉන්න බව කියන අතර අපි කියන්න ඕනේ ප්‍රශ්නයට වඩා ගොඩාක් බරාරුම් ගරු ඇමතුමනි. ඔබ දකින්න ඇති ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට අද විදේශීය ඔබ කිව ආකාරයට මේ තියෙන ගැප් එක क्वार्टर <laughs> to 5.4% from 5.7% in the first quarter of 2020 accordingly the estimated economically active population is about 8.4 million in the second quarter 2020 of which 66.3% are males and 33.7% are females the economically inactive population is about 8.3 million and out of the economically inactive population 26.4% are males and 73.6% are females During second quarter of 2020 out of the total number of employed persons in Sri Lanka 46% engaged in service sector 27.1% in agriculture sector and 26.9% in industry sector In the second quarter of 2020 there is an increase in employment in the agriculture sector compared to the second quarter of 2019 by 168717 The number of unemployed persons is estimated as 458,359 during the second quarter of 2020. The unemployment rate for the second quarter 2020 is 5.4%. Overall, unemployment rate reported for female is 8.2% and it is 4.1% for males. The survey results further reveals that the unemployment among females is higher than that of males in all age groups. Youth and female unemployment contribute more to the overall unemployment of the country. Stay tuned for stock updates. Welcome back after the break. The trading at Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a mixed note today. The All Share Price Index dropped 11.85 points to close at 5,934.23, and the S&P SL20 gained 4.84 points to close at 2,387.56. The turnover was 2.2 billion rupees, and over 107 million shares were traded. Up next are forex rates. That's all news for today. With that, we will be winding up for today. See you tomorrow and good night.